just got in from New Orleans with it and got it washed up and come over here. Yeah, it's a 1984 uh -huh. uh, Freightliner FLC 120. Okay. It's got a 400 big cam Cummins in it, 13 speed, 390 rears, 212 inch wheelbase. Uh, that's called the Las Vegas Stripe paint job, uh -huh. original paint. It was a one owner truck before I bought it. Okay. The old man bought it brand new and run it till he passed away from cancer. And, uh, and we got it. When, when did you get it? Uh, we've had it about two weeks. Okay. It's our 14th truck that we've had. We've had several old Peterbilts and Kenworths and stuff. This is our first Freightliner, but it was all original and it's just hard to find trucks like that anymore. You know? And I love yeah. the colors and the paint design. And you know, it's it's not as shiny as a lot of these new show trucks, but that thing's got a lot of stories to tell, you know, 34 years old. Sure. And uh, it's just a, a dang neat truck. We've done some stuff to it so far. So have a few little things we want to do, but we want to try to kind of preserve it Pretty much how it is, you know. It's kind of okay. a time capsule. You don't, you don't really see stuff like that down the highway anymore. But I mean, we'll run it, run it anywhere we need to run it. You know, um, it's been a darn good truck for us. It actually gets better fuel mileage than my new truck did, and and runs on down the road better and everything. Really? So, well, what were you in before? Uh, I had a '99 extended hood Peterbilt. Okay. And uh, I've even had up to I think the newest truck I owned was a 2012 Kenworth. And then uh, with all the emission stuff on the engine stuff, I kind of. I had enough of that being broke down in the shop all the time and went back to these older trucks that I can work on myself and don't have all the issues, you know. Yeah. Uh, being in the shop and stuff like that all the time. This thing here, it's it's kind of like working on your grandpa's old pickup. If it breaks down, but a little bailing wire in your pliers, you can at least get it home, you know. <laughs> yeah. But uh, uh, it's just a pretty cool old truck. We yeah. really, really like it. Pretty proud of it for what it is, you know. And, it's all ours. So no yeah. the bank don't have no name on it or nothing. It's just it's our truck, and if we don't want to run it, we park it and you know go to the lake or something. Yeah. It's a it's a neat truck, man. I tell you, for all the trucks I bought, I brought out to this show. I had a '79 extended hood Kenworth we brought one time, '84 K100 Kenworth cab over my Pete, a few other trucks. We've got more attention and more lookers at this old truck than anything, and I, I, the people wanting to buy it. And just if you saw, decide to sell it, give me first shout out at yeah. this and I said, heck, I. I'm still in the honeymoon phase of it. I still, you know, yeah. haven't had it long enough to yeah. even think about selling it. Yeah. And you always have a little bit of a vision of things you want to do yourself to it, or just like the top of the grill showing its age there with a the little bit of rust popping through. Yeah. Well, yeah. I want to put a new one of those on it. And just a few little things, you know, but all in all, the truck's pretty, pretty sound. Original <laughs> motor, it's been overhauled. Um, but uh, original transmission's been rebuilt. Uh, okay. All that's pretty pretty much original. I mean, it's all and, clean. And in, and in good condition. Yeah, in real good, real yeah. good shape. The interior's in great shape. Uh, the dash and all the plastic stuff, you know, that stuff starts getting its age from the yeah. sun baking on it. None of it's all busted up and broke, missing. There's not not anything, the speaker covers and all that stuff that's missing on the inside or anything. Yeah. Just, just really a neat find. You could tell the old man that had it just really, it was his baby. I'm actually third generation. Oh, you're third? I, yeah, okay. my, both of my grandfathers uh, were owner operators. Okay. He's 71 years old. Okay. I'm not quite 39. My, my dad's pretty much old enough to be my grandfather, but he's <laughs> he's had a truck since he was 15, 16 yeah. years old. And, I was telling some friends last night, my dad, uh, here at one time, I've thought about getting out of trucking and stuff, and everybody would tell you, you can't get away from it. It's all, it's all you know, you know? <laughs> and uh, the thing yeah. with it is, is it's true. I, uh, my dad, he went to college after he graduated high school and got a degree, a certified electrician, and yeah. it just wasn't his thing, you know? And the yeah. whole time he had a truck set, and that's all I really know. My brother drives, owns a truck, my dad does, both my grandpas did, my uncles. Just come from a trucking family, you know. Yeah. And when it's kind of in your blood, like they say, whether you want to or not, you you, you have a real hard time getting away from it. Did what it? Is, we're just a small family deal. I have okay. my truck that I run. My brother has his truck he runs, and my dad has his truck that he runs. We don't okay. have any drivers. Okay. Um, at one time, there's been two or three times over the years, my dad's tried to mess with drivers, and they've always just cost him more money and hassle okay. than what they were worth. We've all lived a pretty good, successful life just running our truck. And when we want to park them and go to the lake or you know, go on vacation. We don't have to worry about babysitting drivers and trucks. And it's it's unfortunately hard to find quality drivers these days that will take care of a truck like we will yeah, ourselves. Yeah. And when we're you know, really into yeah. the older trucks. So it's hard to find a guy that, you know, you might have to bail and wire it to get it home. You know, some there's not a yeah. lot of mechanics out there these days that, yeah. that really can work on these old things. And so it's just, 
it's been more cost effective and, sh and stress free for us just to, to run our trucks and, and just uh, take care of ourselves. I've been trucking for myself for uh, not quite 19 years. I own my own truck and in 19 years, this is my 14th one. So part of the problem is I'll come across a truck like this that maybe needed a little TLC and stuff. You know, when we bought it, we waxed the stripes on it and shined all the aluminum, yep. clean, cleaned it up. It was pretty dingy, it hadn't been washed. I changed all the glass, the, put those old style glass lenses on it and the new headlights so you could see. And, Yep. The stack tops were all crooked. We shined them up and straightened them up. Just little stuff that it needed. And uh, I'll do all that stuff that don't really cost money. It just takes time and kind of knowledge of what, look at something and see what yep. it needs. Well, then somebody will come along and offer me money that I don't think I can refuse. It's a <laughs> yeah. pretty good deal. So I sell it and I'm like, oh no, now I'm back in the, the boat of buying another one and doing it all over again.